queen is dead, long live the king. In this time of increasing instability throughout the world, from Brexit to the riot in the U.S. Capitol, there seems to be a desire to shake off the yoke of our colonial histories. And I understand that. There's some great uh, discussion being had both on this app and throughout the world about the appropriateness of having this historic thousand-year-old institution continue to be a part of our day-to-day -day lives. Because here in Australia, it is still very much part of the day-to-day -day lives. There's the queen on our money, soon to be replaced by King Charles III. The thing that this takes for granted, I think, is that peacetime is an aberration. For the majority of human history, war was commonplace. Anarchy reigned. And then only in the last few thousand years have humans found a way to come together and organize under a variety of government structures. Here in the Commonwealth world, they still are under that same government structure which provided for the last thousand years a monarch. And while there's very valid criticisms of the monarchy's role today, I don't think we should so quickly decide to get rid of the monarchy altogether. After all, this is the structure that created the civilization that we have today, and it's something that's worth reflecting on, as I've done today here at Government House, the place that represents the Queen in Victoria, Australia.